So, this is a little story of a new instructional seat being installed in a John Deere 9530 tractor. Oh, here's my brother Ken. Uh, we always get him distracted, so we got him started on the wrong end of the tractor. Anyway, it works best for him. He stays busy and then out of the way. So, the first thing is to do is find the right spot. So, here we are looking at this very big tractor and trying to walk up the stairs. Right at the top of the stairs, as you go into the cab, is where the buddy seat needs to be installed. And at this time, this tractor came without a buddy seat, so I had some friends from Waterloo that helped us get one, and here we are on a sunny March day trying to get this installed. This is an 8320 track or 9530 tractor that's had uh, a special year for 50 years of making these four-wheel drive tractors by John Deere. Here we're taking out that console piece, kind of a fabric piece that fits in there. And uh, luckily, underneath this is all the holes have been pre-drilled and the embossments have been welded on for the seat belt, so we're in good shape. Otherwise, we'd skip several of the pages in this instructions and get right into where we have to modify the uh, structural uh, or the uh, fabric there that fits on there. And you can see there's many, many pages of different details. In fact, a little bit of a layout, like a sewing kit to, to make a pattern for us to cut into what we need to do there to get that out of the way so we can mount that seat onto the metal pieces inside the cab. They also told you where to drill some holes, make some holes big enough to put the seat belt on. We debated whether we should put the seat belt in, but we decided since we had it, we might as well install it. And uh, it doesn't seem to be too much trouble to get that installed. First we mark the spot and drill a hole. And the last thing then is we got this template here that goes through things. And uh, start marking that where we're going to cut out that outside pattern here. So we'll first drill a pre-hole so we can start the cutting. how to start sawing. We came up with a little technique of a saw blade mounted on a screwdriver. It's taped to a screwdriver. It seemed to work pretty good to uh, give us a little handle to cut through that type of device with a little hot saw. My brother Ken had a little bit of trouble there. Not very easy on the saw blade, but uh, eventually we got around it, got it finished. Came out pretty well. Continuing to cut. You see this clever little idea of using the saw blade to, to cut that out. Finally finishing it here. It takes three people to cut this out. As you can see there's a number of hands involved in this. Ah, and everybody has to inspect it. There's that piece we'll never use again. It's our favorite cup holder, but there's actually a cup holder on the other side of the tractor we can use. So here that piece gets mounted back in the, uh, the cab there. And now there's a cutout for where the seat can be mounted into the into the plate that's on that side of that tractor. Put in a little piece of molding on the back there. And in fact, uh, all the John Deere controllers are back behind that piece. So uh, where most of the controllers for running the tractor are. I'm gonna get the last screw in. Here's another little frame piece that goes in front. Gonna get the screws in that. Now we're installing the um, seat belts here. There's the left side and this is the right side seat belt. Then there's metal plates that go in that help hold the seat down. There's the bottom of the seat versus this metal plate fits in. It's kind of amazing, but it actually all the holes lined up and fit just uh, kind of snugs down in there. And this plate holds that seat up and also gives a mounting spot for the uh, the back back seat. So now we're mounting that. Uh, it's actually the back cushion of the seat with that metal plate in. And here's the seat cushion. It's already got one metal piece uh, slotted screw that fits in there. Here we're adjusting it and luckily it all fits together. A couple more screws go in underneath and the entire seat gets done. So what you've watched in five minutes here it took us so uh, well we putzed around and chatted about things and had something to drink and whatever. Anyway it took some time. Here's my brother Ken trying it out. Pretty big hefty guy. Not too happy with the seat. Seems to kind of be kind of squeezed in there. But it's uh, it works. <laughs> and we're all happy as it's done. 
So our 9530 tractor is now complete. Anyone can come and get a ride with us now. Two in the cab. Enchantment strange as the blue up above 